time for us to take a step back in time. Yep. Spell Ruler. This is the 25th anniversary edition because there is no way I'm paying $800 for an unlimited Spell Ruler booster box, which is what some people are asking for these days. <laughs> so yeah, we're just doing the 25th anniversary edition. Nine cards per pack, 24 packs per box. Um, back in the day, we used to get something like uh, seven hits or so out of a box, with one of them being a secret rare. So I imagine, I hope, that they do this box the same way. <laughs> but it's still going to be nice to take a little trip down memory lane. We've got a few people over in the Discord who are actually looking forward to this opening. But yeah, here we go. We're doing the whole booster box. Look at that. Oh, look. They even got the little number like they used to say back in the day. 161806. I wonder is that how many they produced. That's a lot, man. Look at that. All nice and professional. Okay. Let's go ahead and bring these packs out. Woo! Box. You go over there. All right, so now the question is really, which secret rare are we gonna get? Are we gonna get the Blue Eyes Tomb Dragon or are we gonna get the Serpent Knight Dragon? Back in the day, it used to be that the retail boxes would get the Serpent Knight Dragon and the hobby boxes would get the Blue Eyes Tomb. Who knows? But here we go, look at that, Ermira Kura. Wow, okay, yeah, we're gonna go through some of the comments a little slow, even though I know all of you all already know what's in this box, but we're still gonna enjoy it. Look at that ceremonial bell. Luminous spark. Hey, look at that. Send you of the thousand hands. That's actually a great hit. <laughs> and oh wow, look at that. Okay. And we got a forceful sentry already. Whoa, what a start. Okay. Nice. Uh he's a little Mr. Cat, but he still looks nice. Oh, look at that. And a forceful sentry. Oh, and an upstart goblin. Wow, that's a great comment. Okay. Yeah, Molten Destruction, Psychic Kappa, and Slot Machine. I'm going to put our little common hits up here, because why not, right? Look at that. That was a heck of a pack, man. Where would it start? <laughs> okay, so let me just double check here. Okay, it's very much All right, wow, that, that was a great way to start a pack. <laughs> or to start the box. Forceful Century, not one of the more expensive ones, but he did used to be a, a pretty much of a, a staple back in the day. Oh, look at that Gravekeeper's Servant. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we're going to put you up here. Hey, it's meme time. The hamburger recipe. <laughs> Labyrinth Wall. Amoeba. Oh, wow. Okay. And wow. Okay. What a start. Look at this. So we got an Amoeba Ascend you, and then we got a Megamorph. Okay. So two Ultra. And another Upstart Goblin. Wow. Okay, this is already an amazing box. Darkness Approaches and Kodadama. Okay, wow, this has been a, a great box. Or did we already get two of our two ultra rares? That's kind of insane. <laughs> Usually you get two to three ultra rares in these older boxes. Um, but again, this is not an older box, really, technically. Let's see. Performance of Sword. Wow, that was an old one. Peacock. Final Destiny. Whooptail Crow. And Giant Germ. Okay, so now we get finally a regular pack. Toll. Oh my god, the Griggle. Oh, the Griggle. Get out of here, Griggle. Weather Report. Oh my gosh, he was weird looking. And an Electric Snake. One of the worst commons in the game. Anyways. <laughs> okay, yeah, so now we're getting regular packs. That's fine. Still kind of amazing that we've got two ultras like right off the bat. That would be strange if, if those were our, our only hits uh, in the ultra rare slot. <laughs> we're going to light. Uh, giant turtle who feeds on flames. Commencement dance. Ooh, hero shadow scout. He actually used to be pretty darn good. And oh wow, invader of the throne. Okay, we're getting pretty good amount of hits. This is pack four, and already we have three foil cards. Okay, invader of the throne. We'll put you right over there. Rising Air Current, Magical Labyrinth, <laughs> Slot Machine, and a Mystic Plasma Zone. Okay, so I'm not complaining. Like I said, these are uh, pretty good packs. Maybe they increased the hits in these boxes, uh, specifically because it's the 25th anniversary. Who knows? Let's see, we got ourselves a Turtle Oath. Ryu ran for one of the, uh, well, I mean, uh, do you consider? I mean, it's not. I know it's not a tune technically because there's tune re around, but still. I don't know. Oh my gosh, Spear Cretan. Oh, we all love Spear Cretan. Awesome. He was such a. Actually, I guess I'll put him over here. 
Spear Creek and Twin Long Rods. Oh, look at that. Rush Recklessly. Pretty nice. Guardian of the Throne Room. House of Adhesive Tape. Psychic Kappa. And more Darkness Approaches. Okay. Yeah, that's Spear Creek. And there was some shenanigans you could do with Spear Creek back in the day. Don't know if you could do it today because there's so many ways to stop things now, but yeah, back in the day, Spear Cretan was kind of insane. Alright, what we got here? We got ourselves <laughs> an old school penguin knight. Alright, a dark zebra. The reliable guardian. Eternal rest. And a shiny angel. One of the searcher cards. Just like the giant germ. Uh, giant germ was a different kind of searcher, though. Um, but yeah, shiny angel. One of those old school searcher cards. Tull, Liquid Beast, another Kodadama, and a Gaia Power. Yeah, we've. Uh, the only thing that's been disappointing so far is the fact that we've not gotten any tune cards. I know one of our one of our friends over on Discord is really looking forward to seeing if we get any good tune cards. Here we go: Fire Kraken, Horn of Light, a Queen Bird, a Stone Ogre Grotto. <laughs> hey, Cyber Jar. Ah, uh, so many games with Cyberjar. Miss that guy. He was so fun. Jake and Bakugan, or Bakudan. Horse of Sanctuary. Taihon number two. More slot machine. Alright, yeah, Cyberjar, man. So many, so many annoyances from Cyberjar. It's like, you love to play in it, but you hate to play it against it. It's one of those cards. Giant Turtle Who Feeds on Flames. Ancient one of the deep forest, and what is going on outside? <laughs> I'm sorry, I heard somebody's alarm going off. That was so strange. Ancient one of the deep forest, <laughs> poor soldier, snake fang, and mother grizzly. Uh, another one of those uh, searchers from this set. I I think it was every type had a particular searcher, like shiny angel was light, and mother grizzly was water. And what I mean by that is, you could basically take Mother Grizzly, send it to the graveyard, and then you could get in more Mother Grizzlies. Anyways, uh, Mechanical Snail, Wall Shadow, Flash Assailant, and Chain Energy. Do I want to put that Wall Shadow over here? It was I never really considered it a hit. Somebody is now bothering me. I'm sorry. I will be right back. Two hours later. Sorry about that. Of all times for people to come and start knocking on my door, they do it now. Okay, let's get back to it. So, here we go. <laughs> Sorry, that kind of just took me out of it. I'm just like, oh, really? Who, of all times during the day that they could come knock on my door, they chose right when I'm doing a video. Curse of Fiend. That's the first time we've seen this one. Another Gravekeeper's Servant. Wow. Okay. Let's see. Taylor of the Fickle. Luminous Spark. UFO Turtle. Very nice. Another Searcher. And another Upstart Goblin. Wow. Sonic Bird. That's another good one. Eat Gaboon and Weather Report. Yeah, we're getting lots of uh, upstart goblins, <laughs> crazily enough. Okay. Yeah, lots of... Uh, those upstart goblins used to go for a lot. Now I don't think they go for nearly as much because he's been reprinted to oblivion at this point. I still think the Gravekeeper's Servants, though, would probably go for a pretty good amount. So would the Sonic Bird. Performance of Sword. Dark Witch. Stone Ogre Grotto. Mystic Tomato. Another one of the searchers. Very nice to get. Painful Choice. Again, another card that used to be a staple back in the day. Yeah. Well, it says, select five cards from your deck, show them to your opponent. Your opponent selects one card among them, add that card to your hand, and discard the remaining cards to the graveyard. Wow. <laughs> it's such a good card. Molten Destruction, Nuzzler, <laughs> the Crab Turtle, <laughs> and the High Tide Gyogen. We're still not even halfway through the box. We've already got uh, four foils. Uh, three of them of which are actually really good. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Oh my gosh. It's the burger. It's burger time, everybody. <laughs> I'm gonna put the burger over here. <laughs> for for just, just old time sakes. Peacock. The queen bird. Hey, look, there's the recipe. we got to put the recipe over there with him. Alright, and we got ourselves a karate man. And we got Metal Fish, Rising Air Current, Minar, and a Red Arch Regrow. We have not gotten any tunes. Kind of a kind of a bummer. And there are regular tunes, aren't there? 
Isn't there like Toon Ri around? I think he's a rare though, isn't he? I think Toon Ri around is a, is a rare. It's been a little while. You'll have to forgive me. I don't remember them all. October, sir. Yeah, nobody ever played him. <laughs> Dark Zebra. The Boar Soldier. Commencement Dance. Flying Kamakiri. More Searchers. Yeah, I think we're going to get at least one of each of the Searchers. This one was for uh, for Searching Wind. Okay. Course of Sanctuary. Another Wall Shadow. Fairy's Hand Mirror. This is a card that I think just didn't see as much play as it probably should have. When your opponent activates a spell card that targets exactly one monster and no other cards on the field, target another card that would be an appropriate target. That spell now targets the new target. Basically, retargets a spell card. Yeah. And then an Electric Snake. All right. This one is pack number 12, I believe. So this would be right between... Right in the middle of the box, I should say. So far, been a pretty interesting box. Uh, looks like we'll get ourselves another re -ran. Uh Turtle Oath. Snake Fang. And Eternal Rest. Hayu Zen Rayu. Try saying that three times fast. Uh, and one of those cards that I used to see like little kids play. Simply because it's a big, giant, you know, dragon. But, yeah. It's a seven star. And it was only 2100 attack at the time, so it wasn't great. Nuzzler, not a bad card. Metal Fish. The Turtle, and more Darkness Approaches. Alright, we are in the halfway point here. So we've already got... So if, if this sticks to the way it used to be, we should get three more foil hits. Alright, we have ourselves Penguin Knight. The Curse of Fiend. Another Spear Cretan. Whiptail Crow. Another Amoeba. Okay, that's two Amoebas. Okay, Guardian of the Throne Room. Chemical Snail, Flash Assailant, and High Tide Gyogen. That pack was not that good. Only decent card there was the Cretan. What is this? Pack 14, I think. Uh, da, da, da. Performance of Sword. Oath, Labyrinth Wall, Horn of the Unicorn, and hey, look at that, a Banisher of Light. Again, one of those cards that I didn't think got the respect that it deserved at the time. I actually played this for a little bit. When I was trying to find light and dark cards, I played this and it says any any card sent to the graveyard is banished instead. This was back before you could actually bring stuff back from the graveyard, so it was actually fairly powerful. Griggle, Bakugan, more fairy's hand, and a red archery girl. The horn of the unicorn that was a terrible card. I'm sorry, it just was. I remember somebody playing this against me, and they kept equipping it to the monster they were summoning, and of course they kept going back to the top of their deck, so they kept drawing it again and again and again, and I'm like, you need to stop doing that. <laughs> it's just going to keep going back to the top. Riran, Peacock, Guardian, more Giant Rat. Did we already have a Giant Rat? Let's see, Giant Germ, Cyber Jar, Mother Grizzly. No, okay, I don't think we've had the Giant Rat. Yeah, I think we're going to get every single one of the searchers. Not bad, and oh my goodness. There he is! The Blue Eyes Toon Dragon, Secret Rare. He's actually still worth a few dollars, even in his reprinted form. So there he is. In all his glory. We're going to put you right over there, obviously. We got ourselves a Toll, a Labyrinth, a Neat Gaboon, and a Gaia Power. Okay, so that's, uh, let me see, six foil hits. We should get at least one more. At least. So, well, now we know if you get this box, you're at least supposed to get the Blue Eyes Toon Dragon, so I guess these are done like hobby boxes. Or at least, in my case. <laughs> uh, Flames Turtle, Light, Tailor of the Fickle, Dark Witch. Hey, there we go, look, there's a Toon, Manga Ryuran. And yes, he is a Toon. See right there at the bottom? Little bits of paper on me. So he is a Toon monster. Tape, Beast, Tyhone, and Weather Report. Be nice to get, uh, like a Toon Summon Skull or something. That'd be pretty nice. There's, pl there's plenty of, of uh, tunes in this set. Toon World, Toon Summon Skull, um, what was the other one? Toon Mermaid, I think. Uh, let's see, we got Lumi, Kraken, Destiny, Twin Long Rods, and hey, a Nimble Mamunga, the Squirrel. Almost forgotten about him. Okay, we're getting all the pretty good hits here, man. As far as the rare slot goes, we're getting all, I mean, you'll see, not ob obviously, that there are so many good rares in this set. I mean, Senju, Germ, uh, even the Shadow Scout's good, the Angel, the Jar, the Grizzly Turtle. These are all, most of them are Searchers, the Kamakiri, uh, the Giant Rat, the Momonga, and the 
where you ran wasn't great at the beginning, but it's better now. <laughs> Toll, chain energy, and more snake. Yeah, the that's the that's the thing about this spell ruler box. Looking back, we now realize that you know, again, the rare slot in this set was just packed full of good stuff, man. October Sir, another servant. Wow, the guardian, the crow, another shadow scout. We're getting some duplicate rares now. Guardian of the throne room, multiple destruction, minor, and plasma zone. One thing I do want to mention: back in the day, um, it's not like these packs now. Um, because whenever you would get a hit back in the day, it wasn't like, oh, you'd get a rare and then you'd also get a hit. It wasn't like that. It used to be that if you got the rare, that was it. It was either the rare or the big hit. So we're, we're definitely getting more rares overall out of the box. Uh, but they did change it down the line to where instead of, you know, getting just you know, the, either the rare or a super rare ultra or whatever, where you get guaranteed at least one rare per pack now. So there is a difference. So we are definitely getting more rares overall. Yeah, back in the day, they used to be a little greedier with how they did their packs. All right, Dark Zebra, the bell, the dance, wall, another Senju of a Thousand Hands. Again, another good hit. Another goblin, another bird. Yeah, this is there's a lot of good stuff in this set, man. Yes, a lot of a lot of bulk, obviously, but I mean, all these cards back in the day and even today, some of them are still good. I still think the bird, the Sonic Bird, is good. Yes, we're doing a little memeing with the burger, okay, but still, <laughs> the bird is good. I still think Gravekeeper Servant is fairly good. And again, more burger time. <laughs> Go over here, Burger Boy. Rods, Forest, Spark. More flying Kamikiri. Okay. Oh, look at that. And a Toon World. All right. So we did get a couple of uh, foil Toon cards. That's seven foils. That should be it then. These other three packs should not really have much. Current Crab Turtle. Okay. But who knows? We'll see. Um, so like I said, seven is about where it should be. And of the stuff we've gotten, I mean, those, those particular seven are not bad. Not bad at all. Penguin Knight, Kura, Grotto, Witch, more highs in Rio, Snail, Greggle, Approaches, and Weather Report. That was not a good pack. <laughs> that, was a, that was about as bad a pack as you can get out of this. Alright, last two packs here, man. This has been actually pretty fun. Performance of Sword, Oath, Destiny, Snake, uh, Rush Recklessly. Did we already get one of these? Yes, we did. So this is a second Rush Recklessly. There's a wall. Bakugan, Flash of Silent, and Chain Energy. Last pack. All this stuff's going to be going up on the store, so if there's anything here that you see that you may want, even some of the old bulk, uh, it will be going up on the store ASAP. So head on over there and grab what you like. Here we go. Last pack. Horn of the Horn of Light. Reran, Boar Soldier. Hamburger Recipe. Karate Man for second one of those. The Labyrinth, Sanctuary Taihon, and Red Archery Girl. Okay, so it looks like, yeah, we've got a nice big fat stack of bulk here. But yeah, look at these these rares. We'll, we'll look at the rares first. Uh, Karate Man, I wasn't really crazy about him, but I did see some people play him. The Recklessly was good. The Kimikiri, the Senju. Shadow Scat was okay. Nimble was great. Manga at the time wasn't so good. Rat, Horn was not good, Amoeba, nah, Reason, Reason, okay. More Karate Man, Tomato, Turtle, Mother Grizzly, Cyber Jar. Look at all of these were, were all useful. Yeah, look at all this stuff that was useful. All And these are just the rares. Again, it, it really makes you think back. And again, I know anybody that didn't play Yu-Gi-Oh! at this time, it's probably looking at these cards and like, oh, these aren't so good, these are... Eh. Dude, at the time, we didn't know how good we had it. But then, but now that we're able to look back and be like, wow, there really were some really good cards in this set, in the rare slot. I mean, yeah, the Senju of a Thousand Hands, even that one today still sells. I still sell these cards for about a buck, buck fifty each. Even the common versions, because it's been reprinted. Um, and again, like the Flying Chemic Curies, this one, Wind wasn't that big back in the day, so... Yeah, it was still a good searcher, but it just wasn't super popular. Um, let's see what else we had here. Hero Shadow Scout. This was another one that was kind of underappreciated at the time, but over time it got a little bit better. Flip your opponent. 
draws three cards. Both players look at the cards, and if there are any spells among them, discard those spell cards to the graveyard. Yeah, good way to get rid of spell cards out of their deck. Again, we never appreciated it until we didn't have it. Let's see, we only got one giant rat, right? Okay, one giant rat. We've got the giant germ, which this one, it is technically sort of a searcher, but it's not, because it only searches for itself. It searches other giant germs. Uh, when this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, inflict 500 damage to your opponent. Then you can special summon any number of giant germs from your deck and face up attack position. That was the downside, is they had to be an attack, but every time they're destroyed, it's 500 damage. So those were actually pretty nice for a little bit of a burn deck. Uh, where's the other rush? Right, here we go. Rush again, very nice. Uh, let me see it again. Cyber Jar, it speaks for itself. And the rest of these, I believe, yeah. Angel, Tomato. Tomato was among, I think, the most popular uh, searchers because back in the day, if I'm not mistaken, with 15 rounds attack from here. Oh, okay, this has actually been changed, I believe. Oh, no, it hasn't. It's about the same. From your deck and face attack position. Not only could you bring out other tomatoes, but eventually you could get out another dark monster once you're finished with your tomatoes. So, pretty good. All right. Angel, UFO, Turtle, Grizzly, and Nimble. So, as far as our big hits, yeah, the Blue-Eyes Toon Dragon, that's the one I was looking to get. Painful choice. So, we've got... Uh, well, we did only get two Ultras, and we got them right off the bat. Yeah. Um, this one was okay. Forceful Sentry, like I said, used to be a staple. Invader of the Throne never really did anything. This was a staple in a lot of decks. The Painful Choice Banisher, again, didn't get the respect it deserved at the time. Same thing with Toon World, because you have to remember, back when this came out, the only Toon Monsters really were just the ones out of this set. Even in following sets, we did not really get very many Toon Monsters at all, so it just simply didn't have enough support uh, to really do anything. Only later on, when a, a bevy of new Toon Monsters came out and new Toon cards came out, did you know it really makes sense to make the Toon deck. But, yeah, pretty nice. Uh, what else do we have here? The, Grave, the Gravekeeper Servant, the Sonic Birds. Uh, of these, I think, that are going to sell probably the, the first are probably going to be the Upstart Goblins and the Sonic Birds. The Sonic Birds always sell really well. Anyways... Thanks for coming with me on this adventure. This was actually pretty fun. Um, if I'm able to at least make my money back on this box, I may actually get another one. Maybe I'll do a Metal Raiders box. Would you all want to see that? Let me know if you all want to see Metal Raiders. And I apologize the video is long, but we all kind of knew this was going to be long. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for checking out the video. We will see you all next time.